just shook the whole camera. Welcome back from intermission, kids. Well, this matches my hair. <laughs> Again, that's just my red version of that black Manhattan. Because I don't have a Verna. Is a Verna black? Now i got to look into it. I used Aperol, because that's what I have. So, I told you in the la end of the last one that uh, these were stone, but actually, they really were wax. <clears throat> it is the mill of the stone women. They're stone in the title. A chilling experience. Why do passionate young women suddenly turn to stone? Beautiful women tempting fate enter the mill alone where beautiful, beautiful women forever wait in mournful shrouds of stone. Uh, a super horror classic in Technicolor. I'll try to emulate Technicolor for you. Um, let's see. Skia Gabel, Pierre Bryce, Wolfgang Price. Price? Yeah, Price. Uh, P R E I S S. Price? Yeah. There's the whole movie right there for you on the poster. Don't even need to talk about it. <laughs> Whoa. But we're going to anyway. <laughs> Mill of the Stone Women was made in 1960. CDC Italy. Directed by Giorgio Ferroni. Okay. A writer named Hans visits a popular... And I got a question mark there, because I wasn't quite sure if this was all that popular. A popular tourist attraction to write it up. Much like I wrote up this movie right here. See, this Professor Wall has taken an old windmill and turned it into kind of a, kind of a wax museum on tracks. <clears throat> when the mill turns, a parade of female statues, each more grisly than the last, parades through the mill to the horror of spectators. Well, the windmill houses more than just the macabre, mag <laughs> macabre ma menagerie <clears throat> with a studio a kitchen, and hidden away upstairs, the ornate bedroom chamber of the professor's beautiful daughter, Elfie. Despite having a girl back home, Hans is curiously drawn to the girl up the stairs. Yeah, he spots her up there on the landing, and he wants to know what's going on. Well, after being all too easily seduced by Elfie, <laughs> he almost immediately regrets it. But you know what? It's too late. <clears throat> the professor warns him that Elfie has this condition. Um, she's sickly. <laughs> we never hear exactly what this condition might be. But any shock at all will just kill her dead. <clears throat> well, guess what? She's in love with Hans. Now what's he going to do? Well, just, just in time, <laughs> Hans's girl Lottie shows up at the mill. And he, he confesses to her. He confesses that he fucked up. 
but that he now knows, you know, since I slept with that chick upstairs, I now know that I love you. How many times have we heard that? <clears throat> Elfie, of course, witnesses this whole confession and and I love you bit <laughs> from from the stairs up there. <laughs> Will she be able to woo Hans away from his love? Will she die right there on the steps? And what's with the red flower? And who is Dr. Bolum? I mean, just what is the real story here? Okay, let's wrap it up, shall we? This one started a little slow, but once it got going, it really got going. I love the whole idea of repurposing the windmill as a as a grizzly tourist attraction <laughs> i wrote here when i buy the right nft i'm going to do this yes me as a clown well probably not kill women and you know encase them in plaster and but otherwise yes so when i win the lottery or buy the right nft Great characters, great story, awesome set. Four. It's a four ring. Hi, Charlie. Hi. <laughs> it's a four ring circus on feature two of the late night picture show. Should we see what we have next week? I looked, and Averna is black as Guinness. It would make this drink a lot darker. Maybe I'll have to try that one day. So while Charlie was here, he did Monkey's job, and he picked out a movie for next week. Pulled this right out of the bucket himself. The Killer Nun and Sinful Nuns of St. Valentine. You like nunsploitation? So join us next week for a nunsploitation double feature. <clears throat> if you like the show, thumbs up, you know, you know the drill. Leave some comments so I know what you're thinking. And we'll see you next week on the Late Night Picture Show. Good night, kids. <laughs>